word. I forgot. I forgot. Okay, so last time we talked about different types of materials, different properties of materials, and also how do we choose materials for an object so that there are times that we should um, choose the best materials for us to what to make uh, to make in order for us to have a strong what a strong um, object that we are going to form or going to create out from that material. So here we go. You know what, I'm so glad and happy that I'm alone here because I can speak loud as I can. So the topic that we have today is about sound. So what is sound? Who can answer to me what is the meaning of sound? Can you give me a little bit example? Who can answer what is sound? Do you have any idea what is sound? Sound is na, 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 na. that is a sound. <laughs> All right, so where does sound come from? Where does sound come from? You are going to learn that one, that question. We are going to answer that question later on. Uh, I'm, I'm actually excited and I want to, to go to the office of Opal <laughs> next time. All right, so sound, what is sound? Sound is a form of energy. Yes, just like electricity and light. So is if you are going to look at it, the meaning is what? It's the same with, uh, someone is talking this year, I will, I will mute the microphone, okay. Teacher, nah. I think this I think this MD is talking. I can hear it. Yeah. I will, I will mute though, this her. Okay. Is it okay? I will mute. All right. So I'm sorry, teacher. I mute you. <laughs> Someone is talking to you there, so I can't hear it clearly here as well. So sound is a form of energy. See, if you're doing to, if you're going to do your exercise. You are what exerting energy. The same with the sound. See that the same with the sound. The sound is what it is a form of energy. Teacher, if you want to talk, just raise your hand. I will, I will, I will unmute your microphone. Teacher, okay. If you want to talk, see, sound is a form of energy, like just like the electricity and light. So where does sound come from? Where does sound come from? It actually, many things around us make sounds. Anything that makes sound is called a source. Happy to say it's now. All right, it is a source. Like for example, I will use my, now this is a sound. I will make a sound. Well, that is the sound. It's a good, good, good. That is sound. And this is the sound too. So anything that what anything around us that makes sound is called source. Like for example, I say hello, that is the sound source. That's from me. Okay, that's from me. Wow, delicious. Teacher is eating. Wow. So where does sound come from? It actually comes from different sources. Diff different sources like in the TV, smartphones, iPhones, from, from your children, from your mother, from your father, any, 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 anywhere. All right, so I want you to watch this video, but for those who are not here with us, for those who are not joining our class for today, that there is no sound if you are in the vacuum. All right, if you're in the vacuum, you cannot hear any sound. 
And of course, because there is no what? There is no molecules that will, that will vibrate. So that's the reason behind that. And also, if you're in, in, in space, you cannot hear any sound because there is no molecules there. And also, also, according to Binex, if it's um, below 20 hertz, you cannot hear it. But if above 20 to 20,000, like 20,000 hertz, that is called ultrasound. So there's a this designated sound, uh, uh, what's that pitch that we have to accept in our ears because if it is more than that, it's very dangerous as well. So next, listen to this one. This is a sound of a right. So that sound is what produces by a baby. The baby can say oh, ah, oh, ah, oh ah. so the baby can say sound, right? What about you, Upal? Can you cry like a baby? Can you do it? Can you? <laughs> okay, thank you, Opal. How about Manmai? Can you cry like a baby? Can you, can you cry like a baby? Uh, you're, you're scared. What about Opal again? Opal, can you cry like a baby, Opal? Yeah. <laughs> why, why are you laughing? I said cry. <laughs> you're laughing. All right, the baby cried like this. All right, so baby, I have TV on the baby. All right, see, that is a sound. A baby can produce a sound, okay? A baby can produce a sound. What about this one? This is an animal. What about the cat? The cat can produce a sound as well. <laughs> All right, so I, there is someone who is raising her head. And Stang, can you say like a cat? Meow. Again, please. Meow. <laughs> so cute, so cute. All right. So thank you, Stang. So that is the sound of a, a, a cat. So what about Manmai? Can you say, a, can you follow that? Meow. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> ah, you're so cute. What about this one? Go saw. Go saw. Can you can you can you say can I say something? Can you follow the the sound of a uh, a, a cat? <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you for that. All right, next, next we have here. Oh, last. <laughs> okay. All right. So, what about this one? Who can do it? Who can follow? Okay, who can follow the sound of a lion? <laughs> okay, play, play. Can you do it? Oh. <laughs> it's so scary. Thank you, thank you, boy. Uh, what about others? Others? Who will ask others as well? It's hard, right? What about, yeah, uh, Matum, Stang, Stang. Can you do it, Stang? Oh, almost the same, almost the same. What about Manmai? Let's see. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So you can, <laughs> even though you are not animals, but you can follow the, the, the sound of an animal. <gasps> no. 
right? So that's the sound of a lion. What about this one? Uh, who can do it? Who can do it? Who can follow the sound of... Okay. Who can follow the sound of fo focus? Uh, focus, can you do it? <laughs> chip, chip, chip. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I want you to hear it again. Okay, <laughs> who can follow? Stan or Matt Mai? Uh, Stan first. <laughs> you don't know. Oh, yeah, so the bird is very hard, right? So I think you can do it. I think so. Man Mai, Man Mai, try. Can you follow the bird? Go, try. Tip, 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 tip. Tip, 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 tip. All right, so thank you, thank you. Uh, go, go, so, go, so. go, so. Okay, follow the bird, go, so. Okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you. What about uh, Yindi? Yes, Yindi? Chip, 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 chip. Thank, thank you, thank you. See that? So, and <laughs> my stag is laughing. All right, so animals can produce their own sounds as well. Same with human beings. But last, uh, let me try. <laughs> See, I can do it. <laughs> All right. So next. What about this one? Uh, this one, huh? Uh, who can do it? <laughs> uh, who can do this one? Huh? Okay, who can do that? Who can do that? Hallelujah. Can do that. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Okay, play. Can you do it? <laughs> thank you, thank you, boy. Thank you. All right, so you cannot do it. So let's proceed. According here, Sounds come from not nature. The wind blowing to the trees, waterfalls beating down on the rocks, or thunder during a storm are natural sounds. Okay. Natural sounds come from nature. Natural sound come from nature. Like this. How strong is the world? Wind at this park in Denver? Strong. Here's the worst part, place. Those porta potties weigh up 300 tons. Parents covered their kids' bodies to protect them from. Ma. As you can see, the wind is so strong, and this sound is only natural. Why? Because it is coming from nature. No one is creating it. No one is making it but the nature itself. The nature itself, okay? It is coming from the nature. The wind blowing, it's nature. Next. See that? What sound did you hear? What sound is that? It is the sound of a stang. I want to stang. Stang, yes. Water. Water, very good. That sound is from the water, of the flowing of the water. So why is it the water can create sound? 
because of the impact of the surroundings. Or maybe someone is vibrating in it. In it. So as long as there is molecules, tiny molecules in it present, present in it, it can produce sound. And that sound from the falls falling down or the water flowing, that is called natural sound. So we don't have time to read anymore, but it's okay. All right, so that is called natural sound. Okay, the water is flowing. I want to go there someday. What about this? Listen. So what is that? That is a, what is that stem, stand? Storm. Storm, very good. So there is a storm coming. So if there is a storm, of course, the lightning is there, the thunder is there, it is very dangerous. It is very dangerous. You have to stay at home. And that is what sound come from, sounds come from nature. And how do you call that one? It is natural sound. That is, sounds come from machines and vehicles. These are artificial sounds. So anything that is not coming from nature are artificial sound. Natural sound coming from nature. Artificial is coming from a machine. Okay, okay, next example. Number three. Wow, wow. All right, so that is a sound from a machine. And what is that kind of sound? That sound is artificial sound. Okay, later, later. Artificial sound. What is this? This is an herb. All right, so that sound is from coming from a machine of an airplane. So that means the airplane produces an artificial sound. Okay, you see, artificial and natural, right? Another artificial sound coming from a machine, all right? So according here, we live in a world, in a, in a world full of sounds. Sounds come from vibrating objects that can be heard by our ears. This picture shows how some sounds are made. Look, I will not show you to do that because when a bee flies, it, its wings vibrate and give out buzzing sound. So that means this is a natural, the bee produces a natural sound. It's not coming from a machine. When a drum is being hit, the, the, the tight drum skin is on it, vibrates. So, when a trumpet is blown, the column of the air in it vibrates and gives out sound, all right? So sound is, uh, how is sound made? A sound is made when the object moves back and forth very quickly. The small and quick movements are called vibrations. So anything that uh, an object vibrates, there is sound that will comes out. Big vibrations make loud sounds. Small vibrations make soft sound. Like this one. This is a sound of a dunk. Right? So next time we will be learning about artificial and artificial, uh, artificial sound and natural sound next time. So I think that's all for today about the sound. We will focus only on the sound. And we learn that sound is coming from a vibration of an object. See, anything that vibrates, that will produce a sound. And remember, there are two types of uh, sound sources. We have the natural sound and artificial sound. We will be talking that one on. 
on Wednesday next week. Thank you so much for coming. And I hope that you learned something. I think there will be no homework. Let me check. Yeah, I think there will be no homework. If there is, then I will I will give it to you. So sound, where does sound come from? All right, so here we go, 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 go. Okay, so as of now, there is no homework that we are going to, to answer. Thank you, kids, and see you next time. Where is it? All right.